Hey guys, welcome back to more Star Fox Adventures. In the last part, we made it to the Dark Ice Mines, the first dungeon in the game, and we got Tricky's Flame Command. This little number. Do it. Yeah. And that will hurt you if you run into it, so just let me know. There's a little magic thing right here, and uh, apparently that's all there is. Um, I think that's just to give you a little bit of extra magic. I I'm, s I'm assuming we're going to need that here soon. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and use your flame on all the ice that you see. And, yeah. Ah, bats. I don't like bats. They're annoying. Any more? No. Okay, now just go ahead and have him uh, use flame on the little fire campfire thingy. And then we magically get teleported to right there. And then the campfire's lit for two seconds, and then it melts the ice that is like 30 feet away from it. Somehow. We are shocked by that, like, crappy physics, and apparently there was a cave beneath us that. I don't know. What the heck? Game logic for the lose. Uh, let's go ahead and feed Tricky, because he needs food. You're stuffed. Good. Stay that way. Yeah. I think there's all five mushrooms in here. Uh, nope, just four. Um, there's another bat. He respawned two seconds. He's like got like a freaking two second respawn. That's fair. Boom. Boom. Die, nub. That's what you get. There's something near. Yeah, yeah, we get it. All right. Now dig. Slave, dig, come on. Fine. Okay, so once you get into this room, just go ahead and dig right here and you will get another alpine root that we have already seen the little scene for. This should not be showing. And then they... What the heck? That's lame. Uh, come in here. Let's get some more mushrooms. Uh, here, let's feed him again. Let's just get him up to, like, full. Here we go. Eat. There we go. Now I can be full, and he can be full. That's good. There we go. Okay. Now that there's nothing left in here to do, take this block, and we have to push it all the way down this hallway. So that's just wonderful. And then we push it up against the wall, and then we can climb back out. Once we actually get there. Because it takes for freaking ever. Okay. What the... Hey! What the heck? Would it have to, like, slide into place or something? That's what she said. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, now just go ahead and come this way. Since I went back, they're not all the alpine roots are uh, back there. You'll need to actually go forward to get one of them. What are you scratching at? You're, like, just attacking the air for no reason. Just for these boulders. It doesn't really matter if they hit you. You know, because it'll, ju it'll just do a bit of damage. It won't, like, kill you or anything. Uh, just go ahead and flame the ice, you know, same old stuff, just over and over again. And we don't have to go, like, digging for it either, which is nice, it's just right here, just in this one little room. And then, we just go and give him these roots, and then he will help us through the main gates. I wonder how he's gonna help us. I mean, I mean, you don't have thumbs, how are we gonna get through the gates if you can't open them? You know what I mean? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so just go up here. You know what? I want my health. I want full health. Suck it. There we go. Nah, go. No, no. Go away. Oh, here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Feed him. Feed his face. Here you go. Just give both of them. I feel much better now. Get on my back. Let's smash those gates. Yeah. Man, the wonder of food, you know? It's just, you eat something and then you feel fine enough to start a siege, apparently. So, we climb on the mammoth. And this is just, man. Man, this is like thing is faster than a freaking Ferrari. Am I right? Jeez, what the crap. Of course, you gotta meet, you gotta move like two feet every hour. Because he's so freaking slow. But, uh, you know, we're already there, so that's nice. 
Ah, well. Just go ahead and tusk attack the gates. Boom. You know, you'd think that would, like, hurt him more than anything. You know, just slamming your tusks into a solid wood gate. That's gotta hurt. Okay, so now we're in, and the guy on the cannon apparently is afraid to shoot at us for some stupid reason. He doesn't shoot at us, which is nice, but it's like, why not? You, know, you got a cannon. If you have a cannon, what's the point not shooting it? Uh, right there. Just turn, take a sharp right, and then just get off the mammoth for now. I think we may need to get on him again later, but I don't really remember. Um, let me see. Ah, I think we need to come down here and uh, torch this wall. Oh, well, obviously, you know, it's a nice wall and there's a cave through it, so we, obviously we gotta go through there. So, let's do it. Okay, wall's already down. Hurry up, Tricky. Lazy. You don't work hard enough. What am I paying you for? Even though I'm not really paying you. Oh, well. Uh, just go ahead and come in here. There's, uh, there's another cog system in here, so... We're gonna be getting more cogs here soon. Just go ahead and boost your way up here, and then you are out on these platforms out in the main area again. So, yes, time for some good old-fashioned platforming, except we don't have to time our jumps or really aim very well. So it's not really legit platforming. Hooray! Alright, so here's another shark claw. Boom. Boom. Ah, oh, man, I missed with the kick. They will pretty much always block that kick if you try to do it normally, so... You're gonna have to do it while they're down on the ground. And then he apparently heard us a hundred meters away while he was inside a house. And now he's looking at us through a telescope. And then we go up to the cannons like, okay, let's see what we can do with this thing. And then of course the mammoth is standing over there and he's freaking fine. They're not even going for him. You're in control of a sharp claw cannon. Use the control stick to aim and hold C, I mean hold uh, A to fire. The longer you hold down A, the further you can shoot, blah, blah, blah. We get it. Um, a cannon will take magic. And, ooh, nice. Two with one. Um, I kind of forgot the distances for this thing. So I'm just going to have to do, like, test shots for all of them. Uh, what you got to do with the cannon is you got to do this. Let me see. Can I get it? Come on. Oh, so close. Let's see. Dang it, I missed. But yes, the cannon will take magic, so you'll have to watch that if you want to just spam it. Ha! I got him dead on. Ha ha. Got them all. You don't, I don't think you have to kill them with the cannon. It's just very easy to do that. Dang it. Come on. I think that's a little bit too high, too. Yeah. Direct hit. Awesome. And once you do that, it automatically exits. So, yeah. And then after you do all that, you know, you've killed everybody, the house stays open. And then we run down in here, there's a chest, or a coffer, whatever you want to call these things. I'm just going to call them chests, because that is essentially what they are, but whatever. And we get our first bridge cog that we need. Yay. Now there's three cogs that we need, but I don't, I don't know if we're going to run into the, the, uh, the, like, third or the second one anytime soon. I just don't quite remember where it is, but I'm pretty sure we're going to run into it no matter what. Uh, come out this way. We can't do anything out here yet because out there is a blizzard and we can't go out there without help from certain woolly elephant-like creatures that live here. So, um, we're going to need to wait here for... or we're going to need to wait before we can go over there. But that is our main objective, is to go that way. So yeah, we will be going that way shortly, I think. Ah, out of the way. Uh, go ahead and open that. See if I can, dang it. It's like, see if I can make th make it through without getting hit by the fire, but I didn't. I failed. Ah, well. And here's the second bridge cog. At least I'm pretty sure we need three cogs. Okay, yes, we know, it's a bridge cog. Yes, yes. We don't have to, s we don't need to see it every single time. We're not that stupid. At least I'm not. Ha ha! I impl the implication is that you all are stupid. Ha! I implicated you all in being stupid. Oh wait, yeah, that's what you do. Uh, after you kill all five of them, you have to kill all five of them, and then this opens. And then this is the last cog. 
Glad I saw that and I noticed it and I sort of like remembered it. But anyway. So that is the third cog. I really wish I could skip this. I, ugh, whatever. Hurry up, Fox. Apparently you are very easily amused. So let us go down here and let us put the cogs on the machine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time limit. Ugh. Oh, man, I wish YouTube didn't have a time limit, but it does, so. In the next part, we will put all the cogs in the machine, so I'll see you later.